At 20 years, Onesmus Mwangi is attempting to imitate the father of helicopters, Igor Sikorsky. Though torn apart by distance and error, the two gentlemen share the same dream, to fly a helicopter. While the Russian engineer succeeded, Onesmus is still trying his luck on the technology. About a month ago, the media was awash with reports of a 20-year-old man who had managed to assemble rusty metal to make the first helicopter in Kenya. Although the excitement around him died soon after, there is a new twist to the story. An engineer, Novice, Onesmus knows for sure that his dream is indeed a tall order, but he is determined to walk the full path. We are inviting other like-minded organizations and we are very happy that the association of uh, Kenya Association of, 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 of Engineers are here taking the lead and we would also want to invite others to come on board and see what we can do to facilitate the advancement of education of this young man and see what we can do to pick the ideas that he has and maybe see if they can be brought to fruition. When his dream of flying a chopper was grounded by the local aviation experts, Mwangi's hopes of flying his own chopper remained high. The Class 8 dropout Onesmus Mwangi was born in a poor family by a single mother. Today, Mwangi played host to the engineering fraternity after the Association of Engineers of Kenya paid him a visit in his humble abode in the dusty and laid-back town of Gidunguri. This is a very innovative idea. For those of us who have gone to engineering school, to see somebody with very basic education being able to understand the uh, principles that are behind uh, an aircraft flying is very, very impressive. We are also thoroughly impressed with the passion that this young man has in terms of using his very limited resources to come up with this idea and to a great extent to risk uh, to get this idea uh, where it is. The chairman of the association, Karyoki Mushemi, says that the fraternity is impressed by the young boy's talent and determination. For somebody with a very modest level of education to do what he has done, we were very, very impressed. And we as an association of engineers in Kenya, we felt that we need to encourage people like this. We need to encourage innovation. ASEC and Kenyatta University have teamed up together to come up with a way of helping Mwangi realize his dream. Mwangi, who sold his motorbike to finance the construction of the chopper, was presented with a new motorbike by the engineers who could only but marvel at the ingenuity of the 20-year-old village folk. <laughs> For now, the chopperman, as Mwangi is known among his rural folks, can comfortably ride his new bike, hoping to fly his new chopper one day. Daisy Olo, for Business at Nine.